Today, we're going to discuss what happens when your kidneys uh, become ill or do not work that well. I just need to introduce myself again. I'm Dr. Francisco. I am a specialist nephrologist and a transplant immunologist working at Francisco Kidney Medical Center in Singapore. Welcome to the Bite Size Information for Kidney and Related Diseases. Your kidneys are very valuable. Learning what can happen if they become ill can help you to put your health into perspective and take better decisions for your future health. Please make this session interactive and put in the comment session all your comments or questions you can have related to today's topic. Okay, let's start. Kidney disease and kidney failure are the consequence of the damage of the microscopic filters of the kidney, the ones I mentioned in the previous video, the one so-called glomeruli. There are many conditions that can injure the kidneys. For example, diabetes, high blood pressure, they produce progressive scarring of those microfilters of the kidney and also of the microscopic tubes which carry the prototype urine that later is passed, passed out to the outside world. Inflammation of these microfilters, this glomeruli, what is called glomerulonephritis, is also another cause. Can also lead to the destruction of these microfilters and the microtubes, also ending with eventual scarring. When the kidneys are diseased and the microfilters and the microtubes are damaged, protein and blood might be leaked. And this is used in the laboratory as a marker of kidney disease. It's one of the tests that we do in the clinic. But importantly, all the functions of the kidneys get affected. If you remember from the previous video, the kidneys clean the blood. So the kidneys will not be able to clean the toxins properly, leading to progressive and dangerous accumulation of toxins. The serum creatinine and urea, which are some of the tests we use in the lab, are surrogate indicators of the levels of toxins in the blood. They increase when the kidneys do not work, do not work well. And that's why we use them as some markers of kidney disease. Either you can use it as a marker of kidney function or kidney dysfunction, in respective how you want to see it. The excess of toxins in the blood of patients can make them become very ill, lethargic, weak, nauseous, or developing vomiting with lack of appetite and excessive itch. When the kidneys do not work well, there can be accumulation of some blood components that in the right amounts are not toxic, even healthy, but in excess, they can be even fatal, like the potassium. With high potassium, the heart can beat erratically or even stop. There can also be fluid retention in the body, which can range from just being annoying, having heavy legs, to disturbing, like causing breathlessness or even lead to heart or respiratory failure, potentially death. The patients can develop anemia and bone problems also. Could be some bone deformities or can be even bone pain. The blood can become very acidic, which can affect many processes inside the body. I wonder, hello, Kamitan. I wonder if any one of you have any question. Um, we were just discussing what can happen when the kidneys uh, become ill, just briefly commenting some of the symptoms. In a future video, we're going to go more deeply into the symptoms. Um, for those who watch the video, I hope this uh, video was useful. Please invite your friends and family and mem you know, if they are in the need of knowing more about the kidneys, because it's always in our side to be better informed. So uh, if no questions, if I think there is no uh, questions, so 
Dr. Francisco wishing you the best possible health. Take care.